the message is, I guess that we've learned that most people who struggle with these issues, depression, addiction, self-injury, suicide, a lot of these people feel alone. A lot of these people feel like they're not sure if they're allowed to talk about it. They're not sure what response they might be met with. And so more than anything, we're trying to encourage people to be honest and to know it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to admit when you have a problem. And we do our best not only to encourage people, but to connect people to resources and uh, also to invest in treatment and recovery. Do you alter your message at all when you're speaking to college crowds like Towson? I probably spend more time speaking to college crowds than any other crowd. So yeah, I think we try to know our audience, you know, and, and if it's a high school versus a college versus a concert, you know, um, adjust it a little bit. I think there's definitely common threads and, and a lot of the same ideas that show up, but I think, you know, just as any of us would, and you, you try to be mindful of who you're talking to and what life might look like for them. So what types of things do you talk about? Uh, we, I mean, it's all framed in kind of the last six years and telling our story, telling what we've learned, telling how it started, and then more than anything, just trying to encourage people, you know, the, the bit I said at the beginning, just trying to encourage people to, to walk out of here knowing it's okay to lean on a friend, it's okay to be honest, it's okay to knock on the door of a counseling center or, or step into treatment if that's something you need. Okay. And I'm sure people share their stories with you all the time. Are there any inspirational stories that really stick out to you in recent um, time? I mean, yeah, we, we, we get to hear, we get to hear both, both sides, you know, we, we get to hear people that say they're still alive because of this project and we meet families that have lost a loved one to suicide or to addiction. So I think both remind us what's at stake, you know, and, and uh, thankfully the messages and the stories that come in, they don't just fall on me, but they really fall on our whole team. And so there's, that feels really healthy. At first it was just me and, and this MySpace page six years ago, you know, um, yeah, I mean, we, you meet people that have been through a lot, but I think the, the coolest thing, for me a lot of times it's just, it's just a few minutes at the end of the night, and uh, is someone who has maybe been moved or encouraged to get help maybe for the first time, you know, just so someone who finally took the step of uh, going to counseling or going to treatment um, or, even talk, or even being honest with friends for the first time, and I think those are the stories that really keep us going. And what's it been like to see your message grow across the country and get to travel and talk to all different people? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been really really humbling, you know, because we didn't set out to start a charity or a movement or a non you know a nonprofit. Uh, didn't expect to get these opportunities and these invitations, and it's been amazing to see the way it's been received over the years. And at first, it was you know we would, we'd be given two or three minutes before a friend's band went on, you know, at, at a concert and now to kind of have our own night and have an hour and a half or two hours and, and then for people to actually show up and want to be a part of that is, is really exciting and and I, I'm quick to point out that you know we didn't invent any of the ideas that we come you know that we communicate so I didn't come up with hope you know I didn't invent community or the idea of, of help so it's just a privilege to get to say these things that we really believe and, and to see people actually to see it resonate with people and, and to see people receive it. Why do you think people receive your message so well? Uh, I just think because it, it really shows the need, you know, I think we're talking about things that tend to, to go unspoken, and so I think we're talking about things that need to be talked about, and in a way we're, we're giving people permission to be honest about not just their story, but I think the painful parts of their story, and I think it's kind of like bringing water to someone who's thirsty, you know, it's just... It's just kind of like, oh, wow, I don't have to fake it. Like, wow, I can be honest. And, and so I think that's something we all need and deserve. And um, you're very prevalent on social media, from Instagram to Flickr. How can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, we, we just see it as an opportunity to, to not just communicate, but to meet people where they are. So in a sort of super simple, logical way, like there's people on the Internet and there's people on social media. And social media is an amazing way to communicate you know, our message, uh, hopefully creatively, to people all over the world. So we get to connect and communicate with folks in places we've never even been, in places we don't, you know, have any staff or know anyone. And I think, you know, you hear a lot about the worst of the internet and the worst of social media, and uh, it's been amazing to maybe see the flip side of that and to see kind of the best of it and to see people get excited about something. At first it was our story, now maybe it's our organization. and to see the way that something can spread like that and, and through that has been, uh, has been really cool. Great. And um, in 10 years, where do you see your message? Where do you see yourself? I don't know. We, we didn't have a five or six year plan to get here. 
we didn't know what it would look like. I think we, we and especially maybe I see it more as a creative project. So if you asked a band where they want to be in 10 years, they, they probably wouldn't know. They, they might hopefully still want to be around, you know? Um, but yeah, to me, it's not this super formal, strategic, uh, structured thing. As the years have gone by, we have been able to add structure and programs and things that look a little more non y but I think where I kind of live and get excited is just that we basically communicate. You know, we, we basically try to move people. Like if I think in one, in one sentence or one idea, like we exist to move people and uh, I hope that we'll continue to do that, you know, and, and um, I think words are powerful, you know, this whole thing grew out of a story and we continue to believe that words are powerful and, and continue to try to tell stories, whether that's, you know, two sentences on Twitter or that's a, you know, a one page blog uh, or even getting to tell a story on a night like tonight. So I think we, we really believe in that and, and I think that'll always be something that is part of what we do.